Hello. Oh, I see how to do this. It's about late. Ah, there we go. <coughs> Feelings gracious. Okay, everybody, we're gonna get a little bit started. So, for the warm up, we're gonna be doing what we did the past two days if you've been joining along with us. So the first thing that we had is a prone press up, five reps. Hopefully, well, back up. Hopefully everybody can see me. If you can't, wave, smoke signals, something like that. So we're gonna go into the prone press up, dig the feet in, big air, press out. And we're gonna do five. Three. Perfect. Then we have now a single leg hip bridge. We're going to be doing our right and left. Make sure that when we do these, that we are also squeezing our butt on the way up. Hopefully everybody can see me. And we're going up. Hands up. Four and five. Now switch. I'm going to make sure that what's going on here. Perfect, perfect, perfect. There we go. Okay, after the single leg hip bridges, we're now going to the six point hydrants. So, when we do the hydrants, 
We don't want to see just out and about cranking. No, this is slow movements. Make sure we're contracting our lower abs. And we're going to do five on each side. Just small movements. Now the other side. Okay. Now we have a Spider-Man with thoracic extension and rotation. So we're gonna go right into the push-up position. We're here, bring one leg up. The leg that we brought up, that's the arm we're using. We're gonna go under and up, and we're gonna do five on each side. There we go. Get a good stretch. Nice and early. Just the way I like it. <laughs> All right, guys. See how everybody's doing. Perfect. Kathy, stop staring at me like that. Okay. Right. Now we're going into body weight squats. Squats are my favorite thing, so don't mess this up. Feet parallel apart. These are my feet. Make sure we are rooting. We're gonna root, squeeze abs, squeeze our butt, and we're gonna do 10 reps. There we go. All day squats. See what he's doing. Perfect. Now we're going into 20 jumping jacks. Let's bring them together and begin. I wonder why you know that I hate jumping jacks. When I was in the Marines, one time, we did 3,000 in a workout. My calves never felt the same. Okay, now we're going into alternating lateral squats. We're gonna do five on each side. Feet forward, squeezing abs, squeezing our butt. Shoot that butt back, come up. Shoot that butt back, alternate, up. Five on each side. Then once we get done with that, we're then going to T jacks. More jumping jack variations because who doesn't love it? And we're gonna do 20. There we go. Get strong beat, people. So the three exercises that we're doing is a bridge with an alternating diagonal reach. We're gonna do five. We're then gonna go into a staggered side plank with thoracic extension, 10 on each side. Then we're gonna go into a lateral lunge to a cross behind lunge, five on each side. And I'll also show different options as we go along. So the first thing we're gonna do is the bridge with alternating diagonal reach. There we go. So we're here, hands up. I'm gonna shoot my butt up and I'm gonna reach and back and down. That is one. 
Up, back, no reach, and back, and down. Foot up, back, no reach, back, and down. And we're going to do five to 10 reps on each side. Let me see what everybody's doing. Perfect. Everybody's doing excellent, great work. Okay. Five to 10 reps. And we're doing this part for 10 minutes. Okay. Next thing we have after the bridge, we're going to reach five each. We have staggered side plank with thoracic extension. Two ways you can do this. You can do this one way. Top legs over. We're coming up. You want up and over. Second option. Feet together, knees together. Lift up your hips, keep the knees down, and we're going up and over. And for that, we're doing 10 on each side. Let me check in. Perfect. Make sure we squeeze that core. We're keeping everything tight. Going up and over. There we go. Okay. The next thing we have is a lateral lunge. To cross behind lunge, five reps on each side. So I'm gonna show what is defined. We're gonna go into a lateral lunge to cross behind bridge. That's the full range of motion. The second one that you can do, go to the lateral lunge, go here, then go cross behind. You can break it up into two parts if you need to. But we're gonna do five on each side. There we go. Yep. I don't know who wrote this. Whatever wrote it was like, Kirk's going to love this all day. Okay. Once we do our five reps on each side, we are then going back up to the top. We are going back into the bridge with alternating diagonal reach. Five on each side. Palms up, squeeze our butt, and reach at that 45 level. And back down. Squeeze the butt, reach, and down. Squeeze the butt, reach, and down. Make sure you're keeping good tension. Do not speed through this. This is not my mind. <laughs> and squeeze and reach. Check in. We have five minutes left still on the core. Let me see how everybody's doing. Perfect. Then we're going right into the staggered side plank with thoracic extensions. And we're gonna do 10 on each side. Okay. Make sure we're really squeezing that core when we do this. It just makes it feel so much easier. Okay. 
And if you want to make it feel even more easier, try pulling your elbow down towards your feet. <laughs> You're going to be like, wow, Kirk, that's great. You see, since nobody can hear, talk back to me, I feel like I'm talking to myself. Again, make sure we're staying tight. Pull our elbow towards our feet. And getting that good stretch in the back. Okay. And of course, take, take a good sip of water whenever you feel like you need it. because this is not a race. Okay. Three minutes left. Now we have lateral lunge. It's across behind bridge. Five on each side. Keep that core tight. I'm still rooting. Still rooting. The feet are always working. Still squeezing my core. Still squeezing my butt. It never stops. Way too close to the couch. There we go, get that good stretch. Push that foot back. And if the cross behind stretch, if the cross through stretch is getting to you, just do a lateral lunge. If you're a big guy like me, sometimes that might be good. But Andrew's always impressed with my flexibility. So we stay here. Okay. Take a sip of water before you go back up and go back into the bridge with alternating diagonal reach. Because we have two minutes left. Oh, I thought just see someone in here. Let me see. Everybody's doing looking real good. Okay. One minute left. Make sure when we're doing bridges, squeezing that butt up, still driving the feet through the floor. Get that good stretch and back down. Six. Side planks. Okay, whatever you're on, finish that up. Finish up that exercise, because then we will be moving into the strength workout. Grab a sip of water. Take a couple seconds. I'm going to take a sip, and I'll go over this. Okay, for the strength workout, we're going to be going for 20 minutes. There's five exercises. I'm going to read it, and then we're going to go through it together. You going to do an icon? Is yours working? 
Does anybody have a question? Okay. The first thing we're gonna do is single leg RDL, five to 10 reps each side. The second is push-ups, five to 10 reps. I will also show two different variations for that. Then we have one and a half split squats, 10 on the right, 10 on the left. Then we have a bird dog, five on the right, five on the left, three second hold. Then we have a front plank with alternating arm reach, five each. And we're gonna do this for 20 minutes. As long as you can see it, you're fine. What do you usually do? Okay. So we are at 17, we're going to go to 37, and we're going to start with single leg RDL. So we're going to be standing straight up, squeeze our butt, feet still rooting. I'm going to push my leg straight back, keeping my butt tight, and come up. Now, if doing the single leg RDL is too difficult to do this, or you find it's like imbalancing, like I'm having right now, apparently, I'm going to a staggered. I'm gonna go right here, I'm gonna push my butt back, make sure my hamstrings are getting tight, and then I'm gonna squeeze my butt to push myself all the way back through, okay? So we're tight here, here. I'm gonna push my hips straight back, we're doing five to 10 reps on each side, and I'm gonna squeeze my butt to push myself back this way. You can choose either option that you would like, I'm probably gonna do a combination of both. So we're here, squeeze, squeeze, push back, push my butt back this way. Now, when you go through these reps, this is time under tension. We're building, do not rush this. We're not just, I don't know, like you're like a little peacock or something, we're not doing that. So we're staying tight, we're working the muscle. Now, let's say you get to seven reps and your technique starts shifting all over the place. You stop there. We want clean reps through all these exercises. Then, we're gonna go into push-ups. We're gonna do five to 10 reps. First, if we're just gonna do normal push-ups. These are your hands. You know how we feel about rooting with our feet? We are rooting with our hands to create torque within the shoulders, so that way it protects our shoulders. Okay, so we're here. Straight up, I'm squeezing my butt, rotating my shoulders out, down, and up. I am still squeezing my core. And I'm externally rotating my hands outward, even while I'm pressing. Another variation you can do for this, you have a couch or a chair next to you. I have a couch. I'm going to come up. Still the same principle. Going down, up. I'm still trying to grip the couch and press my way up. Another variation. If you're like, you know what, Kirk? Let's do something else. I got you. I'm going to go down to the floor. Hands up. Hands down. Root. Up. Hands up, down, root, squeeze butt, up. Five to 10 reps, I'm just nice here where he's at. Okay. Now we're going into the one and a half split squats. We're here, we're gonna drop down. Do not bang your knees against the ground. Come up a little bit, back down, back up. That's one rep. And we're doing 10 on each side. Do not make this a race. Time under tension. I'm focusing on squeezing my left quad as hard as I can. We want clean reps. So if you get the six, seven, eight, nine, your technique breaks down, you stop. So 
Stay controlled. And squeeze your quads as hard as you can. Check in on everybody. Perfect. Make sure you again drink a water as you need it. Stay tight. Root those feet. Dig that back toe into the ground. Okay. Next thing we're gonna go into is the bird dog. We're gonna do five on each side. When we do the bird dog, okay. I'm gonna squeeze my lower abs. I'm rooting my hands, squeeze my lower abs, whichever leg I shoot out with, that is the butt cheek that I'm gonna squeeze. So mine will be my left. I'm gonna squeeze. Hold for three seconds. Come back. Out, squeeze. And back. Do not let your uh, leg, I want to shoot out straight, not up and over. We don't want that. And that's why we're squeezing our butt while we push our legs back. Root, hands into the ground. Now, if you can actually see me, I'm trying to stay so tight. I'm sweating all over the place right now. But that's how it should look. Creating maximum tension within the core and your legs while reaching out. Another thing to notice is when you're doing the bird dog, the leg, the arm that you use to stabilize, I'm trying to push through the floor as hard as I can. Let me see where everybody's at. Please grab a sip of water as needed. Okay. Front plank with alternating arm reach. So I'm gonna show two different variations. First one I'm gonna show is what is being defined. I'm gonna squeeze my core, my butt. I'm gonna reach out. I'm focusing, I'm balancing on my left forearm. <sighs> Second option. We're gonna leave our knees on the ground, dig our toes into the ground, and reach out. I'm still creating that maximum tension in my butt and my core. <clears throat> and we're doing five each. I'm gonna check in on everybody. There we go. I'm gonna grab a sip of water. Hydration is very important. Once you finish that, we're then going back up to the top. We're going to be doing single leg RDLs. And we're going to do five to ten. Oh. 
making sure we're staying tight and we're driving that leg through the ground. Keep the reps clean. This is not a race. Time under tension is very important right now. Make the muscle strain. Make it burn. We want good focus. Then right after the single leg RDL, we're going back into the push-ups. Five to 10 reps. Make sure we are externally rotating with our hands to lock in that shoulder placement. Make sure we're squeezing our core. Make sure we're squeezing our butt even while we do this. Now, do not treat this as a race. Nice and slow, nice and controlled. And then one and a half split squats. Let's keep it going. Butt staying tight. I'm digging my back toe hard into the ground. I'm flexing my front quad. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and let's switch. You are beating me. The next thing is bird dogs. Six. Eight. Ten. I'm feeling amazing. Okay, if you're keeping up with me, next thing we have is bird dogs. So again, make sure we're keeping that core tight. Make sure whichever leg we are shooting back with, that's the butt that we're squeezing. Hold for three seconds. See how everybody's doing. Oh, everybody's bird dogs look real good. Make sure you keep that good time under tension. There we go. Perfect. Once we get done with the bird dog, we're then going into the front plank with alternating arm reach. Make sure that when we are doing these, we're not trying to overreach our whole body. Goes into almost like a side plank. Make sure we stay tight, we reach, come back. The arm that I reach with, the arm that's staying on the ground, I'm pressing that 
into the floor to help me stabilize. Okay, five more minutes. Once you finish the front planks with all the arm reach, arm reach, hey, get a sip of water. Sips, people, don't chug water. Okay. Then we're back to the top. Single leg RDLs. So that race, time under tension. Work the muscle. If it's burning, that's what we want. Stay disciplined, go through the motion. We're gonna do this, I'm pushing my hips back and pushing my butt back through. <sighs> even while I'm doing these, you ever heard Coach Andrew and I ever talk about rooting? Even while I'm doing these, the leg that the foot that's sitting down, I'm still trying to keep that tension there. We want to keep torque always throughout the body when we go through multi joint movements. And if you're going through this and you're wearing shoes and you feel like your foot is wobbling in it, put the shoes off. Go barefoot, that way you can get better traction on the floor with your feet. And you can see actually what your feet are actually doing. Get okay, I'm pushing my butt back. As you can see, I'm starting to lose balance, so I need to gain my focus. There we go. Pushing my butt back. Then I'm gonna push it back forward this way. Staying tight, staying tight. There we go. Now we're back up to the push ups. Again, while we do push ups, creating torque, push my hands into the floor. I'm rotating them upwards. If you notice when I do that, my shoulders. We'll actually go back into my back and lock into my lats. That creates that stabilization. And I'm still keeping my core tight and I'm still squeezing my butt to lock in that lower lumbar, okay? Time check. Two minutes, people. Let's do this. Keep time under tension. Okay, one minute. Let's see what everybody's doing. Stay in control while you do these split squats.
and finish up with, with whatever you are doing. We're at the 20 minute mark. And we're gonna take a little 30 second break. And we're gonna go into the finisher. So finish whatever you're doing. I'm gonna check in on everybody really quick. And I will explain the finisher. Okay. There we go. Okay. Get a nice sip of water. Take a second breather while I go over the finisher. The finisher has two exercises with a rest period. So the first thing we're gonna be doing is a wall sit for 30 seconds. The secondary is a stationary inch worm. Then we have a 30 second rest. We are gonna do this three times. You can begin this whenever you would like. If you don't go along with me, perfect. If you want to jump in and just get it over with, please feel free to go ahead. Act like there's a wall right behind me while I do these wall sits. Just make sure. Go wherever you feel is comfortable, okay? If right here's not feel comfortable or you're at a quarter squat position, you're pressing against the wall, that's totally fine. If you want to go lower to parallel, that's totally fine too. Go to wherever it feels comfortable, just making sure you're keeping that tension on the quads. We're still bracing our core while we go through this. Stationary inchworms. We're standing tall. And go all the way down to a push-up position. Do not let your lower back sink as the prone press up. We're here, keeping our core tight, and we're walking up. So we're gonna do this three times. After the stationary inchworm, we're gonna do a 30 second rest. Then we jump back into it. We're doing this three times. So let's begin. I'm do mine right here. Hopefully everybody can see me. Even my core tight. I am flexing my quads while I'm in this wall sit. Thanks for burning. And recover. Stationary inch form, 30 seconds. Keep our core tight, push up position, and walk back. <laughs> Do not let your lower back sink in the inchworm. And 30 second rest. Very second rest, take that rest. Okay, now we're at the wall sits. Make sure we're flexing those quads very hard. Keep our core tight. Back against the wall. Make sure our lower back is flat against the wall. Then we're going back into the inchworm. And if you face these before me for three times, 
Make sure you stretch out, drink some water, and enjoy the day. Make sure when we do these intros, we're keeping our core tight. And then 30 second rest. You get a sip of water as needed. Then back to the wall sits. Make sure we give our core tight, flexing our quads. And there we go. Last inchworm. Keep that good. Good push up position, keeping that core tight. And that is it for today. Woo! Great job, everybody. Right. This is perfect timing. <sighs> Liam, Liam, Liam Oden just woke up, so that's perfect. Right. Thanks, Coach. Oh. Great job, everybody. If anybody has any questions or everything, please feel free to contact me. <laughs> but great work. <sighs> please sure you stretch, stay hydrated. We'll see everybody tomorrow morning. Everybody have a Thank good you, one. Sir. Thank you guys. Thank you for joining me. Have a good one. <laughs>